Hi, it's Billy Dunlap with GoLawrence.com and GoClinton.com. Coming to you week eight of the Lawrence County Football Show. I'm right here at Lawrence Academy. Behind me is Todd Kirkfield. You can see the middle school Crusaders back behind me practicing. Lawrence Academy will host Richard Wynn Academy on Friday night at 7.30 for homecoming. Lawrence Academy, 2-5 and five on the season, lost to Jefferson Davis Academy, 42-24 to 24 on Monday. The game was moved from Friday night to Monday night because of Hurricane Matthew. Richard Wynn Academy comes in 5-2 and two on the season. They defeated Curtis Baptist on Friday night, 62-8. to eight. So, homecoming Friday night right here at Todd Kirkfield, Lawrence Academy versus Richard Wynn Academy, 7-30. Presbyterian College Blue Hose, 1-4 on the season, 0-1 in Big South play. They lost to Gardner-Webb 24-3 on Saturday. They will host Monmouth on Thursday night at 7 o'clock. Monmouth comes in 4-2 on the season. They defeated Howard last week 59-27. This is the first ever Thursday night game at Bailey Memorial Stadium. So the Blue Hose will take on Monmouth 7 o'clock on Thursday night. Now let's move to some more high school football. Let's talk about the Lawrence Raiders. They will play at Riverside on Thursday night at 7.30. Lawrence, three and four on the season, two and zero in region play, defeated Wade Hampton on Friday night, 48 to 28. DQ Floyd, unbelievable. 334 yards on 30 carries and five touchdowns. An 11.1 yard average per carry that's that's over a first down every time he touched the ball in the backfield now i've been bashing the raiders defense over the last few weeks they've given up a ton of yards but i'm gonna give them kudos this week they had a great game against the generals braylon williams eight tackles zay grant nine tackles ty zay hill nine tackles two tackles for loss raider defense flying all over the field on friday night now injuries Raiders are still getting pounded with injuries. We know about Sean Smith. We know about Nathan Rudder gone for the season. Trevor Madden, knee injury still out this week. Troy Dendy, torn labrum according to Coach Chris Liner. He's also out this week. Jalen Walker, still in concussion protocol. My understanding, he got cleared today, but still not ready to get back on the field. So the Raiders are still going to look to play some guys both ways uh, to try to get the best athletes on the field. Riverside, 3-4 and four on the season, 0-2 oh in region play. Lost to Hillcrest last week, 45-7. Lost to Malden two weeks ago, 56-21. They've got wins over J.L. Mann, Blue Ridge, and Traveler's Rest. Quarterback Logan D. Benedetto leads Riverside. He's a sophomore, was injured a couple of weeks ago with a concussion, should be back to play this week. Riverside, a lot like the Raiders, they played four quarterbacks this week, had a lot of injury problems. They played a ninth grader a couple of weeks ago, so very similar to what the Raiders are facing this season. Tamir Martin had a great game against, J against, excuse me, against Malden a couple of weeks ago, had an interception return and a kick return for a touchdown. Brooks O'Brien, he's the leader for Riverside, a Citadel baseball signee, so far this season, he's played wide receiver, defensive back, and quarterback. He's a great athlete and a real difference maker for Riverside. So, Lauren's going to Riverside for a Thursday night kickoff, 7.30. Now, let's talk about the Clinton Red Devils. They're playing at Newberry on Friday night at 7.30. A big, key Region 3, 3A matchup. Clinton, 3-4 and four on the season, 1-1 one one in region play. Newberry, 4-3 and three on the season, 1-1 one one in region play. There are two other teams at 1-1, one one, Chapman and Woodruff. They're all behind Broom, who currently sits at 2-0. and oh. So a big week for Region 3, 3A teams to see who can get that second win and get to the top of the region rankings, which will have serious implications when it comes playoff time. The Red Devils defeated Mid-Carolina for homecoming last week, 45-7. They were well-balanced on offense. Coach Andrew Webb has been talking about that all season. 222 yards on the ground, 185 yards in the air last week. That's pretty balanced. 
Charlie Craven, 184 yards, three touchdowns. Chris Holmes, who I like, he runs the ball hard. 15 carries, 146 yards. Jalen Carter, two catches for 76 yards. Now, Newberry lost to Broom last week, 31-21. to They had the ball with a chance to go ahead late in the fourth quarter but couldn't make it happen. They defeated Woodruff two weeks ago, 28-6. to Newberry's wins are over Keenan, 96, Chapin, and Woodruff. They've lost to three good football teams, Baseburg, Leesville, Fairfield Central, and Broome. Running back Amir Abrams leads Newberry. Two touchdowns last week. Also, quarterback Tyreek Goodman does a great job for Newberry. So, Red Devils traveling to Newberry for a 7.30 kickoff on Friday night. We've got four great games in Lawrence County this week. We hope you'll get out to check out some of them. That does it for week eight of the Lawrence County Football Show. We'll look forward to seeing you at the game.